What's up everybody? It's Demo with Demo Vapes. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the DNA 75C Squonker by Lazy Vapors. And yes, I am aware of this giant pimple on my face. So yeah, this is a single battery, single 18650 DNA 75C Squonk mod, and it's made almost entirely out of stabilized wood except for the trim pieces, which are made out of another wood, and I wish I knew what kind of wood that was made out of. So Seth, if you're watching and you see anything that you want to just add on to, please go ahead and make sure that you comment down below and I'll pin your comment. So anyway, as I said, this is the DNA 75C Squonk mod from Lazy Vapors. Got it at 55 watts with a 0.19 9 ohm build and Theon RDA up top. Let's have a vape. Mm. I did just want to start out by letting you guys know that I did purchase this product for this review. However, I did get a small discount from Seth because I am doing this review. So thank you, Seth. I appreciate it. Will not change my opinion. Anyway, let's get right to it. I want to show you this mod up and close. Alrighty everybody, here we have the Lazy Vapors DNA 75C Squonk Mod. This is a beautiful single 18650 Squonk Mod housing a DNA 75C chip in it. Click it on, you see we've got the DNA 75C right there. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm not going to do a full overview of the DNA 75C board in this video because that would take me forever, but if you'd like to see a detailed overview of the DNA 75C, go check out DJ LSB Vapes' video. His is over an hour long, so it has just about everything you'd want to know about the board, and I'll link that down below. I don't do a whole lot of temperature control vaping, so I just leave it in watts. Basic overview, you have the up, down, and select button right here. If you'd like to get into this menu, you just hit the select button, that goes into there, and then you select what you want to adjust, you can adjust it up and down. It does adjust in 0.1 increments, however, that can be changed in eScribe. When you're done, you just either hit the fire button, and then it'll go back out, or you hit the select button. And for wattage, that's really about all that matters as far as I'm concerned. I don't vape in temperature control that much. So again, go check out DJ LSB Vapes' video if you have some more questions or wanna know more. On the outside, we have a beautiful high gloss finish stab wood. This is a gorgeous finish. I actually got to choose the block of stab wood for this mod specifically. And man, what an awesome thing to do. I really appreciate that, the amount of customization and detail that goes into this. You really get to choose every aspect of your mod from start to finish. Up top, we have a raised 22 millimeter 510 and man that's got to be the first disappointing thing I got to say about this I'm really not a fan of that I'm not a fan of a raised 510 and I'm not a fan of especially a raised 22 millimeter 510 if you're gonna raise it raise it at least make it 24 millimeters and that might be something that you can actually ask him to customize for you when you originally purchased the mod I am NOT totally sure on that so don't quote me if you go and you ask him say hey Demo said you can get a raised 24 millimeter 510 and he says uh, I know you can't, but I would really love to see this flushed in. That would just be a really nice thing. Ah, uh, yeah, I just am not a fan of the raised 510, I gotta be honest. On the front, you may have missed when I showed you the board. We have some stab wood buttons right here, and they are just gorgeous. I'm pretty sure he makes them out of the same block that the rest of the mod is made out of because they just color match so perfectly. Let me zoom in there and get you a closer shot. Yeah, man, that's gorgeous. Get a closer view of this wood grain. I really hope this comes through on camera, guys. I might have to do some adjusting in post. All right, to open up the mod, we have a little notch right here down below. Just get your thumbnail underneath there, pull it open. Inside, you are met with a single 18650. You've got your squonk bottle right here, threaded onto the 510, and the DNA 75C board. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is a completely custom enclosure here for the board, and it's just really cool and well done. Let me see if I can zoom in on that just a little bit more for you guys. It's really awesome. You can see through this clear piece, and you see all the stuff that goes on in here, the main ship right here, and and you've got this sort of plastic housing right up front. All the buttons feel nice and clicky, albeit just a bit, uh, a bit stiff. Now that little flash right there, that is not a spark or anything like that. That is the light on the board. The bottle inside right here, this is a YFTK silicone squonk bottle, and it is very, very thin. So just keep in mind when you use one of these squonk bottles, you gotta be very careful when you're putting it in here not to squirt juice all over your 510 and out of the, out of the mod. But yeah, it's a very thin squonk bottle and squonks really, really nicely. I do believe you can also get a regular PE 
PET stiff bottle if that's more your speed. This is a silicone bottle and it works great. On the back you see we have this Lazy Vapors or LV logo etched in there. Not even really etched. That's like a piece of stab wood that he did that out of. That's just insane. The attention to detail on this box is insane. I have to say the fit and finish and attention to detail are just top notch. Let me slam this back in here. Magnets nicely. On this side of the door you can see we have some notches cut out for the board and we've got some magnets right here. And these are all hand done. Everything is hand finished and hand assembled. Again, just gorgeous. I think this is a beautiful mod. It's not perfect, but absolutely gorgeous mod. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much about it. We're going to go back up top and I'll show you a whole lot more about the Lazy Vapors DNA 75C Squonk. All right, everybody. And that was the DNA 75C Squonk by Lazy Vapors. First of all, I wanted to tell you guys one other thing that I forgot to tell you right in the beginning. I did decide to get rid of my cigar painting of me smoking a cigar. And my original intent was not to promote the use of tobacco. I got some comments on that implying that I might be promoting the use of tobacco through that painting and I want to apologize if that's what anybody thought. I That was not my intent at all. My intent was merely to show that is where I came from. I was a big cigar smoker back in the day and I had that painting done back when I used to smoke and it's a long story behind that painting. Maybe I'll save it for a vlog someday but I just I did decide to take it down. I uh, didn't want to imply any sort of tobacco use or that I condone any sort of tobacco use. I mean then again use to do what you want right but at the end of the day I decided to take it down so let me know what you guys think of that. As At the moment it is taken down. All right so what are my thoughts on this mod? Well, I have a number of things that I have thought about about it. Thought about about it. What? <laughs> what? Well, let's start out with some of the cons first. Uh, well, usually usually I try to go cons first and then pros second. We're going to start out with some of the cons first. Biggest con for me right away is the raised 22 millimeter 510. Man, I am so bummed about that. I understand that a lot of the Hemo guys out there use small 22 millimeter stainless steel atomizers, but as it stands for me, I use a lot of things that are not 22 millimeters. I use a lot of 20 four millimeter atomizers and such and a lot of things that are not stainless steel so that's kind of a huge bummer for me I really wish that they would have pushed that 510 in and made it flush with the with the wood and then it wouldn't matter whether it's 22 or 24 just something to get that out of the edge of the mod so that's my biggest con right away and I know that that's going to be a deal breaker for a lot of you guys out there so yeah it's a real huge bummer for me buttons on this are just a slightly bit stiff they are clicky but I especially notice in these adjustment buttons that sometimes they're a little bit hard to press and uh, uh, you know, they've kind of worked themselves in, so just know that if you do pick one of these up, they might be really stiff when you get them, but as you use them, they'll sort of uh, work themselves in. Now I'm uh, in the menu. Another thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that there are no battery orientation markings in here, so you don't know whether it's positive up or down just by necessarily the mod telling you, but it is indeed positive up. And the spring on the bottom is on the negative side. So this is positive up, but I really wish that he would have put some battery orientation markings in here. There's a little bit of play in the store. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But there's just a tiny bit of play in this door, and I'm sure that's just necessary because if it was totally tight, it would just be kind of tough to make it uh, perfectly tight. But there is that play, and sometimes I've noticed that when I use it, there'll be like a little wood squeak under my hand and not a huge deal. I don't know, you know, I think that that's, uh, that's kind of a thing. I want you guys to understand I am nitpicking this because of the price and we will go over that later. My fifth and final con for this device is that there is no battery ribbon. And as it stands right here, uh, it was kind of harder to get this out before. I did send this back to Seth over at Lazy Vapors and he made some small adjustments for me. And one of them was to get this a little easier, but you do have to sort of get your fingernail underneath this positive section right here push down and then pull out. And that's not a huge deal, but it's these little plastic edges, I do believe he smoothed them out, but these do little plastic edges could tear your battery wraps. And I did have a mishap right when I first got it where I, and I mean, when I say that they could tear your battery wraps, what I mean more is that when I first got it, I couldn't really get my fingernail underneath there and to grab this battery out of there. So I did the classic squonk technique where I kind of banged the battery out and my battery wrap smacked against that little corner and tore open the battery wrap, which was a huge bummer. I really wish there was a battery ribbon. It would totally eliminate all the problems. Now on to some of the pros. This is a beautiful looking mod. This is fantastically beautiful. The stab one on here is just great quality. Really nice gloss finish on here. And I do believe you can customize that. I do believe you can get yours with a sort of satin finish or a gloss finish and I chose gloss. Lots of gorgeous colors and you can pick whatever blank of stab wood you would really like. So he's got some choices for you when you go to order one of these and you pick your block and he machines it or rather carves it out of the wood and then sends it to you all made up like this. For the most part, other than that little play in the battery door, the fit and finish on 
this is stellar. Everything looks really nice and tight. All the bits and pieces go together really nice and flush. Everything just looks and feels really high quality as it should for a mod of this price. Again, we're gonna get to the price later on. The internals are all placed in there really nicely. The door goes on there, snaps in, little tiny bit of play as I said before, but other than that, everything is on here really, really nicely. It uses the DNA 75C chip, which is a huge pro for me. It's a great chip, great even power delivery. I have a little vape. Man, you could just tell, man, if you've never vaped on a DNA board, get yourself a DNA mod because gosh, I know that they're kind of expensive, but if you can afford it, go get one. Great mod, great board, just a great vape overall. It uses a great squonk bottle. It's another pro of mine. Squonk bottle is nice and squishy, silicone, very, very nice. And as I said before, my last pro for this, it is absolutely completely unique. Every single mod that he makes is 100% unique. It is made out of a stab wood block that you choose and there will not be another mod that is like this. Every single one is absolutely unique. And that is great because whenever you turn up at your vape shop, no one else will have one just like this. So that brings us to the price. And sadly, this is where things get a little crazy. The price is eye-watering, so if you're not sitting down, please sit down. I'll wait. No, I won't wait. This is priced at $400 to $425. Wow. This is extremely expensive. So now that everybody's recovered from that, who do I recommend this mod for? This is for your Hemo guys. This is for your guys that don't mind spending a chunk of money on something that is absolutely unique and handcrafted. This is completely hand-built by one guy, and gosh, it's just great. You get great customer service from Seth. I've received nothing but exemplary customer service through this process as I did buy this mod. You'll get a great mod with some great backing behind it. If you like 22 millimeter atomizers, if you are a fan of stainless steel 22 millimeter atomizers, like most of the Hemo stuff out there is, uh, you're gonna love this and it's gonna work perfectly for you. Now, if you like 24 millimeter atomizers, you're gonna be kind of shit out of luck. This uh, looks really kind of strange with the 24 millimeter. You've got this weird gap, right, going all around the 510 and it just doesn't really look that great. But yeah, if you're a fan of handcrafted art and you want your art to be in the form of a mod, great choice. Now that brings me to my own conclusion. Would I buy this again if I lost it? And I'm gonna have to go with probably not. I have to say that this is just not the way I vape, right? And it's mostly just purely because of that. I don't like the 22 millimeter 510. I don't like that I only have 75 watts. You know, there's a lot of little things that I mentioned in the cons that just sort of make this not quite what I would spend $400 on, I gotta be honest. So this would not be for me. Now, that said, hold your horses, don't turn this video off yet. I would pick up one of these. This is a dual parallel unregulated squonker with a 24 millimeter 510 up top. And this is right up my alley. Got the Reload BF sitting up top here, and just a just a beautiful little mod here. Again, this is an unregulated parallel box. I'm gonna pop this open for you here. Got two 18650s on the inside, parallel configuration. And I would definitely buy this one. These retail for 300 bucks, and I would prefer this one immensely over the other. I like my mods to be able to deliver a powerful vape, and I'm a clouds bro clouds guy, man. It's just at the end of the day, I do respect this kind of vaping, absolutely. I do love to do it, but I don't think I would spend 400 bucks on it. So sorry if that's not the uh, not the conclusion that you guys were hoping for. That is what it is, and uh, that's really all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please go ahead to make sure and like, comment, and subscribe if I've earned it. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Demo out.